Well, good afternoon. It is Pastor Schmidt. It is Friday, September 20th. Wonderful to see you. I bet you have heard the phrase, all roads lead to Rome. All roads lead to Rome. Well, the Romans were, were an interesting civilization. Uh, and one of their interesting things was they built roads. Roads that are still existing today in some places because they built them so well. They would start in Rome and those roads would move out throughout the Roman Empire. It wasn't necessarily exactly true, but in, this, in, in essence, all roads led to Rome. At least the paved ones did. Pope Francis. Pope Francis. Interesting guy. The leader of the Roman Catholic Church. He said something very interesting. He said this. All religions are paths to God. All religions are paths to God. And that is absolutely not true. All roads, all paths do not lead to God. There is only one path that leads to God. And you and I know this. But I have to remind you of these basic Christian tenets when the leader of the Roman Catholic Church doesn't seem to know basic Christian tenets. And I bet you might have some Roman Catholic friends who are listening to the Pope and thinking, oh, you can believe whatever you want. You can be a Muslim, you can be a Mormon, you can be a Buddhist, and we're all going to heaven. It's just, it's just all going to work out that way because every religion will get you there. That's not true. In fact, that is a big fat lie. And you know who the father of lies is? The devil. Do you know who the father of truth is? God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Son talks about this, and he is very explicit, and you've heard it before. It's John 14, uh, beginning at verse 6 here. Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. A little grammar lesson. The word the, in this case, is the definite article as opposed to the indefinite article. The indefinite article in English is a or an. Jesus is not saying I am a way a truth or a life among many paths to get to heaven. No, he's saying, I am the, that is the definite, the only way, truth, and life. Jesus is this world's only hope. And you know that. And you know that. God says elsewhere in Scripture that he is a jealous God. And when we hear that word jealous, we 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 think, God, how 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 can you be jealous? Because jealousy is a bad thing. It doesn't conjure up the best emotions or the best thoughts whenever we are jealous about something or someone. But God says he's jealous. What's he jealous about? Well, he can be jealous. He's jealous when you and I seek other paths for salvation, when we seek other paths for fulfillment in life, for rescue in problems. He's jealous because he knows those paths don't lead to him. Those paths do not lead to resolution. They do not lead to happiness. They will only lead you to destruction here on this earth. And if you die living in that way, eternally. There is one way, truth, and life, and that is Jesus. And he sent his son to be the savior of the world, your savior. And he loves you so, so much. And praise the Lord that you're watching this and you're saying, Pastor, I knew that. Well, good. Good, good, good. I just wanted to remind you, but I bet you, you have a friend, maybe even a Roman Catholic friend, who's heard what the Pope said, and they might believe him. But you know the truth. Jesus is your Savior, their Savior, our only Savior, the way, the truth, and the life. And we've got them. We've got all three. Heaven is our home because of Christ. All of our sins are gone 
because of Christ, the only way. All right. Take it easy. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.